I'm on my way, shit, tryna give me that Ain't about some pay, but then I don't give a fuck I ain't for the fake shit, that ain't really love I ain't with the majors, now I ain't giving up So that can't get enough I ain't get enough Young, I ain't get enough Cause I ain't get enough guys welcome to a new video um, um, today we'll be doing a couple stuff on the 240 um, I got everything hooked up on the engine but the car's not starting I want to start at cranks but I don't hear the fuel pump priming or doing anything at all actually when I turn the ignition key on um, I probably have something hooked up wrong and can't figure it out but what I'm gonna do is just hardwire the fuel pump to the back I will show you everything you need, all the parts. Um, we hooked up with a relay. We'll have to run a wire all the way to the front because my battery's still at the front of the car. But with that said, um, it should be a lot better. Plus, we'll always know what's going on. Like if it's the fuel pump that's broken or if it's just not getting power to the fuel pump. Um, first, we gotta check if we are getting power to the plug. So we'll turn the ignition key on. See if the plugs are, uh, if the plug in the back there is getting power. I'll show you how to do that with the voltmeter or a test light. Um, with that being said, here's everything you need, and yeah. Okay, just a quick rundown here. Um, so basically, we'll be needing some uh, heat shrink tubing. Uh, that's for obvious reasons. Um, some fuses, which will be the fuses you'll be connecting. I just got a little fuse back here. And a little heat shrink. Um, <clears throat> you'll need a soldering gun. I just went out and got this one. It doesn't have to be this specific, but if you do, you're gonna have to go get a butane um, tank with it sure you can find it I can figure out the part number for you for this thing and uh, yeah it's pretty sweet because it pr basically this forms up and it's just easy ready to go no worries there I got this with it too it's just an electrical solder um, we got our fuse where our fuse will go to right there and then here is our relay. It's upside down. Right here. And then you're gonna need some connectors to get the ground on right there. Just some bud connectors, electrical tape. You're gonna need your wire cutter, eh, your wire strippers, wire cutters, heat gun for the heat shrink. Um, an impact if you have one. If not, you can just use wrench. 10 mil and the little impact thing. You must get one of those. These are sweet lifesavers. Camera doesn't want to focus. Come on. Come on. And it didn't. And lots of wire. Not really. This is just wire I have. Um, but you'll definitely need some red wire or black wire, whatever you have. So you can run it from the back of the car. If your battery's in the front, all the way to the front. Yeah, basically, we'll get it going here, clean this up, fuel tank's there, and I'll show you how to hook it up. Um, you want to find a good spot for it, for the relay and everything to get hooked up. Um, in the future, I'll probably end up running a separate battery for my amp and subs and all my speaker stuff and then I'll just hook up the relay to that so I don't have to run all the way to the front. Uh, I gotta do some rust repair there so that's another video to come. Clean all this up. And look at that. Oh yes. Hello. That's basically it for that. Um, so I'll just cut, put the camera on the tripod and I'll show you guys how to get going here. Here's a, uh, get everything ready to go and yeah
so we got everything cleaned up. Um, we got all the stuff on the workbench here, which is sweet. I just like having things cleaned because it just makes working a lot easier and it makes everything, you know, better to work on. But now um, that we're all ready, um, so the fuel pump's here. Um, I have a Walbro 255. Uh, it's not getting power, but under the plate <clears throat> display, which is uh, 10 mils right here um, Is where the uh, fuel pump goes obviously um, then the wire runs over here. There's four main wires um, Then five sorry, I messed it up uh, and then Under here right here is where the plug is that connects the fuel pump to the ECU and um, and that basically just runs along blah 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 over there so we'll be taking just this one off maybe this one we'll see um, figuring out where to mount, mount the uh, fuse and the uh, um, relay the went mind blank and yeah we'll basically go on from there and I'll go step by step on how to do it um, it's a pretty pretty simple step if you uh, if you kind of know like what all the wires do. Um, if you look in the description, I'll let you know what all the wires do. I'll label like white and purple is main power, I think. Then there's ground, power, ECU. And yeah, I can't think of it right now, but I'll put that down in the description if you want to check it out. All the part numbers for everything will be there too. If you want to get um, any of these. I got these off my local like parts store. Shout outs to uh, Wyatt Auto Parts. Um, voltmeter. Don't really need one. You could use a test light, but that'd be best to um, check if everything is working properly. And I think that's basically it. So let's get to it. Okay, so basically we're gonna take these two bolts out. I forgot to mention you might need a little uh, Phillips here. Take these two out. And that clip. It's what gives the power to the ECU and it runs it runs all the way to the front. Um, so we're gonna test it out and see if it even gets any power. Okay, so basically there's a bunch of gunk there I'm gonna clean out. So basically what you wanna do is get your voltmeter um, and set it to 20 volts, which is right there. And you basically want to make sure you find the good ground which is your black and with the red one you just want to go around and check if you have any power to these wires or to these pins uh, and if you do you should have a 12 12 volt pin but as you can see I'm not getting power because this is the pin for power right here I am pretty sure no it's this one and we aren't getting power to any of them actually. Uh, yeah, so basically you wanna make sure your battery's hooked up. And after that you wanna make sure your ignition key is on. And that way everything's on and you know that you should be getting powered at that, which everything is on and we're not, so that sucks. Uh, that's why I wasn't priming the fuel pump. So let's start wiring it up and see what we can do. Right guys, so basically here is the relay that I bought. It's a waterproof one, so it's probably be the best to get. I'll put the part number at the bottom, like I said. All right, guys, so I got everything hooked up to the relay. It's a mess right now. This is not the end product. As you can see, I just wanted to make sure everything works before it started. I eliminated these two cables from the um, EC, uh, from the plug, and I'm just gonna directly hook it up to a switch to the front of the car so I can turn the fuel pump on and off. Basically, if we turn ignition on we have the switch here and we turn on the switch you can hear it turns on fuel pumps priming everything's working and when we want it off you just turn it off I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this wire then I'll show you how I ran it all so you can do it yourself Well, with that 
done now that I clean up some stuff um, it's time to clean up the wires and hook it up properly um, we're gonna have to find out where to hook up that switch to inside the car I already have a switch right there which is for my gauges and I might build a little bracket for just a switch panel there also I forgot to mention I have a diagram that I will post a link to so you guys can go download that and check it out uh, the diagram was drawn by my buddy Lucas he's the wiring guy around here um, he basically figured this all out for me um, shout out to him um, I'll put it in the description I'll make a better one and put it as a PDF so you guys can download it yourself okay guys um, I finished wiring it up cleaning up the wiring uh, things are looking good everything's working um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of how I did the wiring and you guys can follow along and you can do it yourself like I said I hooked it up to a switch and that switch I hooked it up to the ignition as well and I'll show you how so here's the end product two wires that run to the front and the two grounds and the main yellow and the fuse here that I got I used the yellow wire to go all the way to give power to the fuel pump and that yellow wire goes to the blue wire this blue wire will feed through the fuse which is right there it's fused right there this fuse runs all the way to the front and connects to that black wire right there then I ran the wire through the seat right here right underneath the seat all the way to here to this switch which turns the fuel pump on and off that one red wire that hooks up to the fuse is this one because that's the main power and then this red wire comes along and hooks up to this black wire because you need two power wires so this one hooks up to the black wire which then runs along and hooks up right there and that's what I hooked up my gauges to which is this button here and when ignition is on, you turn this button on and it'll turn the lights on for this. And it'll also have current for ignition as well. So then you can turn on your fuel pump. And then the basic thing, I used little white wire for ground. And then the blue and red wire is the fuel, uh, fuel pump ground. And I just covered up the plate. And that's basically it. Make sure you use your heat shrink for everything and I solder everything to place and it's looking good so now when the carpet goes over cut a hole for the for the relay and that's basically it yeah so I'll cut the hole in the carpet um, hook the relay up hook everything up properly hook the battery up and show you how it works all right guys so there it is I put everything back together as you can see the relay is just right there I have one exposed wire I'll probably end up fixing later in the future that's the only way, well not really the only way I could have ran it, but just couldn't, didn't really think of it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it right there. Looks super sweet. Alright, so I got my battery all hooked up and I'm about to show you how it works. You have your key, turn the ignition on, then I have my button here, my button turns on my gauges, and then the button for the fuel pumps right here. As you can hear, it goes on. To turn it off, you basically just turn off the switch and your ignition here so basically when you switch everything on the car will start but i'm pretty sure my battery's dead so it won't start um yep <laughs> so make sure you always turn them off i'm gonna build the bracket for that there and that's pretty much it all right guys so we finished everything uh basically everything's hooked up there's just some little details that we need to do like the switch panel but that's basically it thanks for watching my uh, fuel pump video like thumbs up uh, subscribe and comment down below what you want me to do there's lots to do to the car I just painted the engine bay I didn't really get much video of that but thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one